Hi guys, it's Monica. Yeah, I where have I been? I know this seems like the story of my life. Well, I do have a few stories. <laughs> so if you're curious, stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining me. So I do have, I, I've got a good, I've got a lot of good reasons for um, not having updated YouTube in, in what, two weeks, which is like, I wanted to uh, do two videos a week minimum and I haven't been able to do that. But everything is good, you know, everything is good. Um, you know, Jay and I had gone on that trip and I know I shared that in the vlog where we met up with Marlene and we met up with Sheila, had an absolutely wonderful time, but we were also on a mission to try to find a, um, an investment property, a small investment property. So we were successful ultimately in securing a property and then it fell apart due to home inspection. Good thing I'm a realtor, right? Cause I know what to expect. Um, and then after we already were home, we were able to secure another property and get that under agreement. So that looks like that's good to go um, and good to go closing. So you can imagine just all of that, all the details of that and all of the different things and, and working, um, just time consuming. And last weekend, I just totally vegged. I went, visited my mom, just like totally vegged, just trying to regroup. And then during the week, you know, I think I already talked about the fact that we had our masquerade and I think I included pictures. If I haven't, I'll, I'll add some in here. But we had our, our big Aussie Award ceremony at work, which was always a huge, huge, huge event. And it was just really nice getting out mingling with everyone. But that is something that, you know, we had coming up and then new training program at work. So it, it was, it's been hectic. So Jay and I, this weekend, we, um, we went and saw 80s. 80 for Brady. Oh my gosh, was that a good movie? Now, if you know, if, if you if you if you take you know the the little bit of football out of it, and you know any politics out of it, um, you know whatever your preconceived notions are about who's acting it and who's not, and blah blah blah, whatever you know, take all that out of it and just think about the video, the movie, and the movie was about self awareness in a way, you know, acceptance the power of friendship and what I walked away from that was having that core group of women supporting you, right? Those, those, the friendships you built with other women are so powerful. They're so powerful, especially if you have a group of women that uplift you and support you through thick and thin. That to me is absolutely priceless. No judgment zones, just there for you when you need it. And that's, that's what that film resonated with me, this core group of friendship. And more importantly, or just as importantly, every single one of them had powers within them to believe and to achieve. And sometimes you just don't see that, that you have it. So the film was about really bringing out that inner level of confidence that you can achieve something. You can, you can, you can sometimes do the impossible. And of course they had Tom Brady, you know, New England Patriots. So for me, seeing Tom Brady there, seeing, I love Sally Field. I mean, I thought all the actresses did a fabulous job, but just seeing all of that, I just, to me was awesome. And the Boston accents, I said, yeah. You know, so anyways, it, it's been crazy. And, and of course, we've been like looking for a mattress set. We finally get a mattress set. So whew, life can settle down. We have a closing coming up. And, you know, once we get through that hurdle, I think I'll be more on a more regular level, I think. But I did want to come up and just come in and update you and also talk to you a little bit. I've had a couple of you, you know, ask me questions about my skincare lately. And because of my Mohs surgery, I kind of stopped doing stuff for a long time to my face other than washing it. And I was so careful because I had a swollen face for so long and still is swollen. Um, but I was just so careful with it. And, um, you know, I, I was afraid to use anything. But slowly, I started to build back in my normal skincare routine. And, and um, you know, with that was increasing again Retin-A, all the serums and peptides that I love to use that I haven't used in some cases in a while. And also, as some of you have asked, have I gone in and am I still using the red light therapy? I started using the red light therapy when I came home from, um, from vacation. So I think for the last two weeks solid or three weeks now, I've been doing the red light therapy back 
on my face and also on my my head. So I've been doing that. The the other thing that I and I, you know whenever I saw because they belong to to Octoly, aka Skeepers now. Um, which is where you can request to have a brand send you a product you might be interested in, see if there's something you'd like to review. Well, whenever I saw a, uh, the, the Ordinary was on there, I said, mm, I gotta try this. So I love the Ordinary products to the point where I requested this. This was sent to me via Skeepers from the Ordinary in exchange for review. And I happen to love the Ordinary products. So this to me was a very easy thing to review. And this is their so this is the Ordinary's multi-peptide hyaluronic acid serum. And when I saw it, I said, I've got to review it. I love the Ordinary product. So this was again sent to me complimentary from the Ordinary via the Skeepers Network. So I could look at it and review it. And I will, you guys know I'm going to be in love with this because, right? So I'm putting this away and I'm going to try to pick up a few Oh, I, I couldn't get them all. Ordinary bottles. So when I say to you guys I use the Ordinary, I do use the Ordinary. I use a lot of their products. I um, have also used um, Fiera, their vitamin C. I just finished Fiera. This was sent to me, I don't know how long ago now, complimentary. Citrus Stem Sea Serum. I really like it. It works wonderful with my makeup. And that's a, that's a test for a vitamin C for me because a vitamin C has to be something that plays good under my foundation because I put it on in the morning. This did really, really well. So just want to say this is in my empties. The other products that I've been kick, pick, kicking back in, I had gotten a while back, I think I might have mentioned that I went into the um, Ulta and they're also carrying Ordinary. So I bought some more niacinamide. I started using the niacinamide back up on my nose. And I am now, I think I've been, I think it's just three months and I'm seeing, I'm seeing a difference in my pores slightly. I feel that my pores are more closed. They're more, um, they're just cleaner. They're better looking, even though I've not done anything different in my cleansing routine. But I really think that using the niacinamide on me, on my nose and only on my nose, I don't put it anywhere else. Um, where my big pores on my nose and probably right here on the tip of my forehead, I've noticed a slight difference, that, but that's the only place I wear it. So for those of you that ask me, what am I doing? I'm doing my niacinamide on my nose again, religiously. I use vitamin C's, a couple of different brands of vitamin C's every morning, religiously. I go through my skin here. I have a few things that I'm on auto ship with and, um, my first level of cleansing at night is still the DHC oil. I take off my eye makeup with it and then I'll go in with whatever cleaning balm or soaps that I have currently that I'm using, either reviewing or trying. I go in and I, I have my favorites, but you know, I'm just gonna try to get as clean of a skin as possible in the evening. And then I'll start the layering of some of my serums. Then I stop, I go under my red light. And then at the end of the evening, the last step is going to be usually my, if I'm going to be putting any Retin-A on, I'll put Retin-A on. The next morning, I just wet down my face. I, I don't feel I have to wash much of anything off. I'm not a night sweater much at all. So my, I, I feel my face is clean. I just wash it off lightly usually with a little bit of water. And that's when I go in with my niacinamide usually on my nose, my vitamin C, you know, on my face. I let that dry. I often use, um, you know, some sort of creams or whatever, and I use that, the Guia Stone, you know, and I put on eye patches. So I recently got gifted, I can't even show you. This is just a few of the things that I recently got gifted from a wonderful friend of mine. Um, Sheila, I, Sheila, anyway, she decided she was going to go shopping for masks and she <laughs> sent me all of these beautiful eye masks that she bought for me. I couldn't, I could not believe it. So normally in the morning, thank you, Sheila, normally in the morning, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on that eye mask and I just every morning religiously do an eye mask. So I'm easing back into my normal skincare, skincare routine. 
and I don't have any major updates, you know, to give you on that, but I am back in full force with my skincare and I'm really looking forward to trying the Ordinary Multipeptide Serum because I do use their Buffet. I also use their uh, Buffet with the Copper Peptides in it. So I use that. I have those here as well as Niacinamide. The only thing I haven't used from the Ordinary is their Vitamin C. So that's about the only other thing. Um, that I haven't used from them. So back in full force with that. I really, you know, you know, we'll see what happens. But I think my skin's looking pretty good, even though I had my most surgery. One of the things that Sheila had turned me on to quite a while ago was this petite and pretty, uh, petite and pretty um, mascara. <laughs> I have to laugh because it's a kid's mascara. But she turned me on to it, and I swear I love that mascara so much so that I said earlier, there's only a few things I'm on auto ship with with um, Amazon. But I went ahead and did an auto ship with that petite and pretty. Every three months, they're going to send me that mascara. I love that mascara. And so what Sheila also sent me was this lip gloss. <laughs> I don't even know what color it is, but I love it. She sent this to me. She goes, I thought you'd like this. And I do. Oh my gosh. Put it on my hands, but I don't think you'll pick up. It is just the most beautiful. Gives you a, a shine, but it, it's not sticky. It is just the most beautiful lip gloss. I absolutely love it. So I can see, yep, children's, right? These are children's products, but my gosh. Do I love them? Anyways, thank you, Sheila. Now I'm going to have to get on auto ship and check out the rest of their lip glosses. What an amazing line of products. I don't understand why they're for kids. So anyways, that's about it for this video. I know it's probably a lot longer than I wanted to and kind of a little rambling. But, you know, it's like there's only so much makeup, skincare stuff you can talk about. And, you know, I'd love to come on camera and turn the camera on and talk about the latest true crime stories that I'm into, that I'm watching. And, you know, I even thought of doing live streams on that. But this, you know, that's an oversaturated arena as well, because I sometimes go on and I'm like looking in YouTube for whatever the story is. And there's too many YouTubers doing it. So anyways, it, it's hard because coming in and talking about makeup, skincare isn't something that. I think most of you are super interested in. Yeah, I'm 68. I think I look okay for 68. I could certainly be better. But, you know, there's only so much you can do. There's only so much ketchup you can do. And I didn't start using skincare until I was, you know, in my 60s, basically. So, yeah, 63. I think it was when I... 63? Uh, no, it's been about... Yeah, it's been about five years or something. I gotta look it up. But, you know, before that I was just not doing much. So now, of course, I am. Sunblock, sunblock, sunblock. Beautiful lip gloss. <laughs> anyway, so I, you know, I'm sort of like between betwixt. You know, what do I want to talk about? I don't want to come on and bore everyone to death and talk about nothing. Then I'm thinking, well, some people just get on and talk about nothing. And they talk to people that talk back about nothing to them. So it's kind of like maybe people don't mind someone just rambling. I don't know. But anyways, you will see me next week. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, guys.